okay. Oh my god, bro, y'all imagine Chris Brown on this? Like, sheesh. All right, what is going on, y'all? It's your boy KBZ. <laughs> Obviously, that beat I'm making right now is not gonna be in the tutorial. That was just a joke, but but yeah. Um, if you keep up with like music and uh, new releases and all that stuff, you probably saw that like, Chris Brown and Drake just dropped a new song called No Guidance. Um, it's a pretty fire song. I like it personally. Um, but yeah, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get that sort of vibe. Or at least I'm gonna try. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, something, how to make like something that I think Chris Brown and Drake could get on, just what I would do. Um, so yeah. So if you are interested in that and you wanna stick around, make sure to subscribe, make sure to uh, make sure to comment down below, and let me know what videos you guys wanna see next. But yeah, um, first things first, let's just get into the melody. But yeah, before I get started, make sure to go follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at KB's the God, so you can stay up to date with me on there. Um, and yeah, let's get it. All right, so first things first, I have this melody, or this uh, piano from Purity. I'm just gonna use this preset to uh, get the melody, so let's get it. All right, so that's the basic chord progression. I'm gonna add to it, obviously, but I just have the bass notes laid out right there. This is in C minor right now. Um, I might transpose it, but for now it's in C minor. And then I just have these regular chords, and these are the root notes of each chord, and then I'm just gonna change the voicings of them a little bit to give it a cool vibe. So um, I'm gonna just add some other notes and move some notes around, stuff like that. So let's get it. All right, so yeah, uh, I just added some like different top notes and I've changed some octaves on some other notes just to change the vibe a little bit because once you make the basic chords, um, if you change the notes around, you know, mess with the octaves, add some top notes, stuff like that, it can completely change the feeling of a chord and like um, change the voicings. Now, I'm not like the best at music theory, but if you just use your ears, you can figure it out and just sort of make some uh, like chords that just sound cool. All right, so I couldn't get a like second melody that I felt went good, so I'm gonna do the drums first um, just so I don't uh, add something that's like sort of unnecessary so i'm just gonna get the drums going um to go along with this pad um and try to get like a dope bass and yeah we'll get it Um, I added that cool little bounce with the kick, like the double kick at the start. Now, before I add this 808, I want like a low 808 that you feel more so than like hearing it, if you know what I mean by that. So I would usually use like a swim 808 or something like that, but I'm gonna use like a, that 808, like the freestyle 808 from my Trap Galaxy Volume 2 kit, just cause it's like more of an 808 you feel more, more so than like hearing it. Um, so yeah, um, I got that. I'm gonna just add the 808 pattern. I might have to transpose this up um, to make it work with the 808, but 
We'll see. I think I'm gonna pitch it up like probably that might be good. I don't know. I'm gonna test it like that in F minor. Um, but yeah, um, but I EQ'd the lows out too, just so the 808 can sit right in the mix. Oh man, let's get it. I got the hiccups, bro. There's really nothing worse than the hiccups, in my opinion. Like, hiccups are one of the most underrated, like, vibe killers. You know what I mean? Like, if I have the hiccups, like, I'm just out. Like, it's just tough out here. You know what I mean? But, yeah, let's get it. Hold up. I hate the hiccups. Like, I always get them. I don't know why. It's so tough. But, anyway, back to the main fucking point. My bad, my bad. All right, so um, you know how I said earlier that like changing the octaves um, on the notes can give it a different feel. The same is true for the 808. So what I want to do on this 808 is um, I want to make sure this 808 can go down an octave. So I want it to be like that. Um, but F4 is too low for an 808, so I'm going to pitch it up a little bit, I think. Or I might go down, actually. Um, I think I'm going to go like right there. I'm going to go to A minor, uh, C sharp minor, I guess. So I'm going to go back down. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, this 808 up. And then that one down, I think. Oh, nah, there we go. All right, so that's gonna be the 808 pattern. That's like what it does in no guidance. Like, I don't think it's the same chord progression, but it's it's similar to this. But it's the same chord progression, I think, but in a different um, key. Um, so I'm gonna let you guys hear it. You'll see what I mean. Um, it gives it that like dark, moody feel. Um, so yeah, let's get it. So yeah, that's the vibe um, on this. I'm gonna add some like more complex drums and maybe a few more melody sounds. Like I'm gonna go into atmosphere, see what I can find. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the basics of the beat. Uh, now I'm gonna just add some little, little other things just to spice it up, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you didn't uh, notice, I guess, when you listen to the song on its own, um, the uh, No Guidance has like a little vocal sample that sort of sets it apart. Because like, this would be pretty much good, if, but uh, the vocal sample like sets it apart. Um, it's at the start of the song as well, so, um, and it like comes in at different times as well. And that sort of gives it like a, just that little extra thing it needs because it's like a little bare. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like a flute line from this enchanted flute on this here and I'm going to see what I can do. So let's get it. <laughs> So yeah, um, that's the feel, um, that flute really just sets it apart, so I just added like this little easy simple melody and then what I did is I just moved it up an octave here um, on the G flat just to make it a little bit, a little bit crazier, um, if you know what I'm saying. Cause like, uh, 
I don't know, I feel like people forget that you can, you don't even have to like change the notes. Sometimes it's changing the octave, but keeping the note the same, like completely, you know what I mean? It gives it a different vibe. Like I could have just done a different note down here, but I, I moved it up an octave and that like completely is a whole new way of thinking about melodies, I think. Um, so um, that's, if you're gonna take one, one thing away from this video, I would say mess with um, the octaves on like chord progressions, because like, if I just kept this 808 in like the regular, um, like how, like if I moved this note down, this would sound like a lot different and it would completely change the mood compared to like when it's up there and then it goes down like pretty much just mess with the octaves um on your chord progressions and you can completely uh come up with some dope stuff um but yeah that's gonna be it for this tutorial if you guys enjoyed make sure to like uh and subscribe so you can stick around for more videos or comment below what videos you want to see from me um but yeah that's gonna be it for me make sure to head over to my instagram snapchat and twitter and give me a follow at kbz to god um if you want any of the sounds i use in this video links in the description but yeah that's gonna be it for me hope you guys stay fired up and james let the beat play hey, KBZ. Fire up.